New Hampshire, where live free or die is a legitimately difficult choice. <laughs> it has always held a special place in American politics. And earlier this month, some local fourth graders visited the state capitol to learn how government worked. As part of a civics project, a group of fourth graders, including nine-year-old Maya Roca, crafted a bill to make the red-tailed hawk the official state raptor. Mr. Cutting's fourth grade class arrived in the House Gallery to watch their bill come up for a vote. They were greeted by enthusiastic applause. Well, that's fantastic. What a great opportunity for the kids to engage in the political process and be inspired. I can only presume that their state raptor bill sailed right through. We already have a state bird, but now do we need a state raptor? Isn't that a bird? Isn't that an animal? So are we going to have, you know, flightless birds, waterfowl, pet birds, garden birds, wild birds? How many of these bills do we need to have? If we keep bringing more of these bills and bills and bills forward that really I feel we shouldn't have in front of us, we'll be picking a state hot dog next. <laughs> what is wrong with you? A, this doesn't matter. B, the children are in the room. And C, this doesn't matter. Just vote yes and make them happy. And sadly, the story didn't end there because State Representative Warren Grone also decided it was appropriate to use the red-tailed hawk to make a completely unnecessary point. It's known for its extremely strong and sharp talons, with which it grasps its prey, but it grasps them with its talons and then uses its razor-sharp beak uh, to rip its victim to shreds and to basically tear it apart limb by limb. And I guess the shame about making this a state bird is it would serve as a much better mascot for Planned Parenthood. What the fuck are you talking about? For a start, for a start, everyone knows Planned Parenthood already has a mascot. It's Plan B, the Planned Parenthood B. <laughs> hey, guys, did you hear the buzz on spermicidal lubricants? No, thank you, Plan B. You're the best. And this wasn't just a few cranks. The legislature actually defeated the children's bill, 133 to 160. And presumably then celebrated by looking up at the kids and saying, nice try, idiots. <laughs> by the way, Santa's not real and Dora the Explorer can't hear you. <laughs> now, this must have been devastating for the kids. But if their stupid state government will not properly honor the red-tailed hawk, then we will. And that is why I am proud Official raptor of last week's night. In fact, here it is. A real life predatory hawk in a television studio. And to show just how wrong New Hampshire legislators were to deny those fourth graders from Lincoln Ackerman School their red tailed hawk request, we've prepared this Red tailed hawks. <laughs> the official raptors of last week tonight. Why? Because they effing rock. Rock, rock. They'll take out a rattlesnake. Snake killer. Chill on a basketball hoop. Chill it. Then they'll feed their babies. But wait, that's not all. They'll grab a pheasant while doing a mid-air 360. 360. Let's watch that again. Good boy. Awesome. But don't just take it from us. Here's some red-tailed hawk facts from a guy in the 90s. Uh, red-tailed hawks found all over North America, probably the most common bird of prey in the U.S. This guy's incredible! Give me more hawk facts, man! Most of the books estimate their uh, grasping strength is about 200 pounds per square inch of pressure. Badass! One more hawk fact! The stooping speed for the red tail here is about 100 to 120 miles an hour. That's enough hawk facts! And all this is why the red-tailed hawk is last week tonight's official raptor! Raptor scream! <laughs>